The Prime Minister is going to hold emergency talks with the head of the Office for Budget Responsibility after the Chancellor's mini-budget continued to unsettle the financial markets. Yes, the Treasury Select Committee has now pushed for an economic forecast to be published a month earlier than normal to try to restore confidence in the markets. And, of course, this comes as benefits payments are now set to fall in real terms to try and save £5 billion worth of government spending. Well, let's talk to economics expert Paul Sedgwick who can tell us more, hopefully, Paul. I mean, there's all talk about U-turns and all sorts of in the papers this morning. I mean, yeah. look, anything that dramatic would in itself be problem problematic to the markets, wouldn't it? Yeah, I would agree with that. I think they, they, I think everybody's coming round to the, the view, or certain, certain parts of the market are coming round to the view, that um, they expected some form of, fiscal easing from List Trust and uh, quasi Quartain. But the scale of it was surprised markets. And obviously, if things aren't communicated well to markets, then they tend to have a sort of kind of a knee-jerk reaction. I mean, across the globe, we're having weakening currencies against the US dollar. Interest rates are rising. And our country is no different to that. And mortgage rates are rising. And obviously, um, this is this is something that's not just particular at the moment to the UK, but to large parts of Europe and, and other parts of the world. How much do you think uh, are, is, is this happening to us because it's happening to everybody? And how many of the problems we're facing at the moment are unique to Britain? And therefore, maybe, you know, the government should be doing something special about it. Well, I don't think actually the interesting thing is I don't actually think a lot of this is unique to Britain. I mean, the, the reality is that. On interest rates are going up across the world. The reality is that most currencies, as I've just said then, are weakening against because the dollar is particularly strong. Inflation rates across most of the global economies are rising. Mortgage rates are rising, and even in America, they're close to what they were in the uh, what they are in the UK. So a lot of the problems that we're facing, people are facing around the globe at the same time. I think the the issue is what what and this is a result largely because over the last pretty much since COVID, governments have borrowed money to support the economy, spent it, and now they've taxed it to try and recover it. And historically, that combination of borrowing, spending, and taxing is never good for economies in the long run and usually dries up prices, usually increases inflation pressures and all that sort of thing, which is exactly what we're going through now. What Liz Trust has tried to do is say, look, I tell you what, we need to break that spiral. We need to cut taxes. We need to support the economy. We need to encourage investment for not only internally, but externally, get people coming back into the country and making it a, 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 a place for investment and try and drove, drive economic growth in that way. The problem is, is the way that it was communicated. And the way that it was communicated left uncertain to the markets. Amongst the, well, we don't know how much the government might have to borrow. We don't know what sort of growth this might, might generate. And so their immediate reaction was to, to sell risk assets and sell assets across the board. Sell the currency, sell the treasury bonds, so sorry, so gilts, and stock markets across the world when the uncertainty fell. So it's a combination of all of those things. The issue, Paul, surely is, I mean, and you're quite right, there's all those issues to contend with, but what seems to have upset the markets even more is that there was a, a, an OBR report, like a, a basic report, if you like, without all the details, that could have been used in conjunction with this budget to back it up, and they decided not to do it, which is, yeah, what, I mean, which seems an extraordinary thing to do. Yeah, I think that they probably... But that, that's exactly right. That is the problem. That it was as it was the communication of how they did this, and, and and I guess maybe the speed at which they did it, and the magnitude of what they did was just not anticipated. So I, I can understand, and that is what unsettled market. And, and any form of um, uncertainty always leads people to sort of sell and ask questions later, basically. 